service, a service of shadow and stones. Today's service was written by Reverend Erica Schempner, and I would like to thank those who are participating in today's service, our organist, June Piper Bell, and she is accompanied by four members of our choir, Jim Birchfield, Tom Holland, Nancy Hagans, and Elaine Schmidt Youngblood. So welcome to you, and the other voice you'll be hearing today is Reverend Patty Wentworth, and I'm grateful for her participation. As we prepare to enter into this service, I ask you if you have a stone somewhere in your home or maybe out front that you could grab it and hold it during the service. And I want you to think about what are your worries this day? And to place your worries on this stone, think about the weight of those worries if they're weighing you down. And at the end of the service, I'm going to invite you to set down your stone either at the foot of a cross you might have hanging in your home, or if not, to take your Bible, place it on your Bible. Leave the weight with Christ. Let us now prepare our hearts and minds for worship. All you who pass this way, Look and see this shadow of sin. All you who pass this way, look and see the weight of the world. All you who pass this way, look and see the suffering of our Savior. All you who pass this way, look and see the sorrow of Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world.
Declaration, a reading from Luke 23, 35 to 43. And the people stood by, watching. But the readers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, the Chosen One. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and, and saying, If you are the King of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, this, is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Let us pray. Reconciling Christ, we are weighed down by sin and separation, a world that is not at peace, people who are not whole. You reached out to the thief. You welcomed him to God's side. Come alongside us in the darkness. Bring grace and peace to everything that is broken. Thank you. 
despair, a reading from Mark 5, 33 to 34. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Lord Jesus Christ, you know what it feels to think that God is far away. You know what it is to call out for God's presence. Come alongside us in the darkness and help us call out for God. I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Let us pray. Suffering Savior, in all our thirst, in all our sickness, in all our longing, in all our pain, you are there. Come alongside us in the darkness and walk with us through all our suffering. <laughs> Jesus, 
Even in death, you are there. When we mourn, when we are afraid, when we come to our own end, you have been there too. Come alongside us in the darkness and carry us through death to life. As we extinguish this last candle, we acknowledge the darkness and pain of all the children in the world who suffer in body, mind, and or in spirit. 